Hold on, dude. All right, yo, what up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up? Whenever I'm getting ready to record these things, I swear to God, my phone has a bunch of different uh, menu options that I have never even used before. There's always something to interrupt a good message, I think. Uh, getting back on this topic pertaining to the world, this dead world that we live in, because trust me, these people are defiled. They are in Illa, and uh, Illa means Allah, okay? And the iconography or the logos for Illa would be the crescent moon, which would correlate with uh, Muslim religion, and anything that is of the matriarchy or mother is of night, or meaning unmade. Now, scripturally, for those of you who are Christian, it is written in scripture that God said that my children are children of the day. So if you follow a religion that is of night, OK, you would not be of the same religion of the Hebrew God. That includes Muslims, quite frankly, automatically by their iconography or logo. Although their father is still Abraham, they recognize their mother and they go through the the matriarchy. All right. Which coincides with the rest of the world religions. And when you <laughs> when you have uh, masonry and the iconography of coexist with all the different, you know, Buddha, Taoism, Taoism, when you have this, it's no way you could have all these matriarchy religions coexist with the patriarchy. OK, because it's not going to be on the same accord. You know, uh, pertaining to things of the truth, the truth is going to come with much controversy, is it not? And what th what things happen to the truth? The things that happen to the truth are the same things that would happen, uh, would have happened to Jesus, who you call Jesus Christ. You know, he was uh, uh, slandered, falsely accused, uh, uh, beaten, uh, uh, crucified. Uh, these are the things that happen to the truth in this world. OK, and I'm talking about the metaphysical message of the words, because God's word is his son. All right. Not a human being. All right. There's a big difference in that. All right. It said that his word is his son. The image had fell. So when the Bible says, let every man be a lie and let God be true, it means that while you have the image or pertaining to the flesh, in this matrix or in the matriarchy, which is comprised of the matriarchy, which aligns with those different religions that are not Christianity. OK, you will have constant sorrow and constant trouble as you will have <laughs> your nature will be betwixt itself until you learn how to uh, represent, until you learn how to walk. OK, according to the to the word uh, in scripture. Hang on a second here. OK, so <clears throat> the nature of the matriarchy is going to be as a beast. Why, why is nature or things of the night as a beast? Well, we have Halloween coming up and we know creatures of the night, night such as werewolves or lichens, vampires, so on and so forth. These things correlate with night. Uh, it is self-representative and uh, 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 individuals are very prideful. OK, over this estate, because they feel that its prowess uh, represents power and it does. OK, the word Allah means power. OK, now the omnipresent God that exists outside of time and space in this dimension had to divide his powers. OK, in other words, when man took up that fr the, the fruit of that tree, this was as an agreement. OK. So when we speak of things as far as did God die uh, to a degree, he to a degree, I mean, he didn't necessarily die, but there was a separation between him and man. The image of man died. All right. So in the native state of mankind's image and the ways according to mankind, this feelings of after they take another fruit tree, they felt things such as guilty conscious. They felt things such as insecurity. Uh, they felt things such as negativity and when they started to feel these things and have these trains of thought and, and, and thought according to this way, this drove a wedge in between God and his creation. Right. 
this would change the nature of an individual's words, would it not? If they were constantly feeling, uh, let's just say, immoral feelings that were not of the Most High God. And this is that wedge. Now, with Mother Nature, as beautiful as Mother Nature is, Mother Nature is also brutal. Okay? And that's one thing that you have to understand, which creates a polarity or a fracture in the consciousness of individuals who are spiritually prone towards this type of uh, religion. Take, for instance, uh, any of the matriarchy religions. Uh, and here we are. I'm getting a crowd now. Any of these any of these matriarchy religions uh, follows in context with nature. That's why outside of Christianity, these other religions are considered to be Egypt, which correlates with bondage. The bondage you have, your, your soul or your spirit has, okay, to your flesh, okay? Your flesh has your spirit and your soul to a degree in bondage. Why? It has it in bondage according to its impulses. Uh, think of the word pleasures or sensational, right? We are after sensational things and this 3D matrix. You understand what I'm saying? So this drives a fracture in the, in the mind and, and a spiritual bipolar, uh, bipolarity uh, pertaining to the consciousness as the impulses of the flesh do not always line up with the individual. You know, that way you could say that the flesh is whimsical in nature. It is unpredictable as nature is. All right. And though it can be beautiful, most of all, it is brutal in the things that it senses, because when an animal in nature feels that it has to uh, it gets hungry, killing is just a part of the process generally of 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 gathering itself some food. So we live in this world and we have a nuance of civilization which makes mankind to be a lie. And then man goes about doing things that he sees fit according to his own leanings and judgment, which the Bible says, lean not to your own understanding, because if you have an understanding that is predicated on flesh and you operate in this world by any means necessary, according to civilization, we understand now why corporations or, or, or corporate business is so cutthroat, because this is the nature, which is nature incarnate is man taking a form in the form of business and it, and it becomes cutthroat. OK, the same thing goes into effect with society as far as supply and demand and capitalism, so on and so forth. And for these things, in order to get jobs or opportunity uh, uh, in the guise of in, 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 in this in this civilized world, uh, there is much nepotism where sex is involved and they have an open container of human beings, just different human beings that's willing to offer up their body for sex or any form of resource in order to get that job. Okay, so if you're going about and you didn't come from deep state and you were born, you know, for mom and dad and you freaking uh, tried your best on the, on, the, on the soccer team and you really want to make that fucking soccer team and everything like that, guess what? Why is a coach going to put you on that pro team when he's having sex with half of the, uh, uh, the soccer team uh, on the low for that same position. And they can also play soccer. They might not be able to play as good as you, but they're willing to do whatever it takes. And you are not. You understand what I'm saying? And you, we live in a world where there are many commodities or slaves. Some are made within society, but many with those who are in the secrets pertain to masons and these secret parties and these jobs. When you look at the jobs board, and <laughs> no matter what city you're in, despite all those jobs being listed, it's not nearly the amount of jobs that are available because most of the job are on the secret table and you have to be a mason in order to uh, access those jobs. And these individuals usually get those jobs in secret, if anything, through networking and connections through LinkedIn or, or something like that, okay? So it's masonry who runs this world, who keeps this order of nepotism because they can always get themselves 
you know, some ass or pussy whenever they fucking feel like it. And that's really what it boils down to is they gather themselves slaves or commodities. Uh, all right. Individuals based upon society who do not have opportunities or resources or even circumstances to make it unless they put themselves all the way out there. And so these individuals become prominent and successful. And when they become prominent and successful, they are still under the chains or the bondage of their slave master owners, which gave them that opportunity. And each new opportunity that they get from film to film or from album to album or advance to advance, these are new slave owners. So they have to answer to many more people. So this individual is stretched out. And it's a very, very brutal way to survive. OK, usually these individuals, uh, internal organs end up damaged. Uh, they end up with hip dysplasia. Uh, they are treated as a piece of property. And when this happens, this is the dating pool that you have to date from. And why would they gather their affections when they need to use those for resources to put food on the table? They have to give up their ass or their most prized possessions. And this core essence of themselves, though physical, is connected to the psychological essence in which individuals split or become disassociated and are no longer attached to themselves. In this world, some of us have heard of method actors. Some of them never leave the job. And these individuals become possessed by their possessions while they're controlled by their slave masters and their slave masters think slow because they're in a fallen estate. There is a frequency in which the beasts of the earth are on the same plane as human beings. And the only thing that separates them is consciousness. And most of the world is not conscious. According to God, you are dead. You get in the way, you move about like pests. I cannot stand you. This is way before the migrant situation and the migrant situation in the United States is going to be used to, to turnkey a race situation that has been boiling under the surface. They have done it before in prior lifetimes. These niggas are so predictable. This is a sermon you won't get in church because it's real. A 501c3 won't represent me because I'm a real nigga. Most of these females that got with dudes that had the resources or the opportunity to have a healthy relationship have been turned out. Their wife is their beer. That's why when I go around females, they turn into squid legs from the knees down because they ain't been around a real nigga before. They get horny. And I ain't saying that, I ain't boasting or bragging. I find it to be sick, the situation in society, because they control themselves according to the things that they need, just a little more drugs and a little more chances and opportunity. And this debt, it can't spread if I do one more thing. And when they run out of mileage and their legs have been shot up, They've been impaled by so many sticks by niggas who don't got any rhythm and pale faces, the pale horse. Then they have to pick up the crafts and use witchcraft to summon suckers and subjects into their midst. They align themselves with different things by shape shifting and becoming different animals and creatures. And they call themselves divine, though they are beasts. The second estate is not like the last one they left. The girl isn't cute no more. Now she got a shadow eye. She kind of sexy. All of these things would seem healthy and normal, but they're not. And this is the separation that separates society. Many individuals from former lifetimes that I've seen in deep state are still in deep state. These are these individuals that are on camp sites. I find their backgrounds more interesting than the individuals performing on the camera because the memories of the different times I've been in deep state and I've been to different hells. The backgrounds in movies are also particularly important. They could trigger memories, but people are so asleep in this video game. Maybe it's a conscious thing to say, keep it real. 
And I got to tell you, what they become is a creature of night. The natural man is the unmade man because the natural man fell. He left his first estate. So when individuals get baptized and they get saved by Jesus and delivered, according to the scripture or the Bible that individuals read in that church, is that they become sanctified and become something else. But just simply by getting baptized and going to church, that's not enough. You see, many people do those things but don't have faith. And if you can't see it in their spiritualism, you can see it in their relationships. They can't keep one. How are they going to stay faithful to God? An individual they don't even see. And these beliefs and this rumored of this history, so on and so forth, for me to be left in this situation, stuck in the house like I got menopause, waiting around 24 hours a day. To me, it sounds like something that is outlined in slothfulness. Isn't this a thing that's supposed to be opposed to the Lord, along with other things that's promoted in society like sexual immorality? You understand what I'm saying? It's directly promoted. If individuals want that job, if individuals want to network, if they want to make connections, you know, this is what the scripture talks about. Don't sell your kids unto the fire. You understand what I'm saying? What does that mean? The fire or the everlasting chains of desire, that which is reprobate or working the unseemly. How are individuals going to break that process or that cycle or that chain? They can't, this is not something that they can do. You see what I'm saying? Individuals have to make a choice. And if you don't get with the program, many individuals end up dead. Sacrifices, martyrs, starved to death, shot up, who knows, so on, so forth. So depressing, I need drugs, but they want to keep you sober. <laughs> and this sick, sad world, so you could get down with their sickness. And this is how things are ran. You understand? In Genesis, when we're on Genesis, sorry, I got kids following me. They're not really kids, they're aliens, but um, <laughs> the kids here, they're scanners. Uh, they'll come by you if you're walking and they'll scan your brain, but they got alien spirits. Anyhow, um, <clears throat> when it comes to this immorality in society, it's quite interesting when you look at Genesis and Genesis or to Deuteronomy, it would say that this, they would call this the strange fire. And the strange fire is not approved of. You understand what I'm saying? It's not approved of in scripture because what, what God was saying that since man fell, that natural man fell, he would have to go about things in a natural way. And by going about things in a natural way, when a male and a female comes together, it's for progeny, it's to create a seed. Much of the Bible talks about creating seed or planting a seed, does it not? Sowing a seed, okay? You cannot do this by working the unseemly. This is why God does not like that, okay? He wants you to produce children as he had given a promise to Abraham. So when the world is put in this situation and the Bible is based upon faith and you see society has died, what is the context of their behavior and what is promoted? Sexual immorality. And this is no different than a zombie apocalypse. As this morning I woke up and I started watching zombie movies. You know what I'm saying? And this sexual immorality is quite intricate because the Bible says that you can catch it just by sleeping with the individual. And I'm not talking about STDs. I'm talking about soul ties. This is the thing that brought down Solomon. So let's say you take a, 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 a healthy, sexually active male that, you know what I'm saying, has many girlfriends, you know what I'm saying, over the course of time. And all these girlfriends uh, have, uh, you know, in their own thing, they have interests on, you know, different type of interests, right? A strange fire also, okay? Then 
through soul ties over passing the time, then it comes to pass where this individual that's dating those individuals start to have certain leanings or knacks or certain curiosities, okay? Uh, uh, certain seducing spirits or sirens that would seduce this individual according to their thoughts, having a psionic link or connection. You know, this is not strange shit considering science. You see, I'm more on the science side of things. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crush the argument for, for many individuals. Science superseded witchcraft. Okay? Science came first in the, in, in the deep state. And then they, for, with science, they studied witchcraft. But pertaining to the science side, what you guys call law of attraction and things of this nature, it is not foreign, foreign for individuals to have heard the term twinning. Okay? When you talk about German scientists and the Operation Paperclip and Paperclip being uh, uh, what holds uh, 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 sex being the paperclip that holds society together, then they are utilizing things from deep, deep state to control individuals and change individuals into other things or giving individuals different spirits. Right. If I look like the man, like a man, but I have a spirit of a werewolf, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 when you see a human being acting like a werewolf, is that, in, is that a human being or is that individual a werewolf? That individual, according to God, would be more of a beast, more of a werewolf than he would be a human being. Because you see, the carpet don't match the drapes. You understand what I'm saying? When you put, when you put old wine, such as an old spirit, like a, like a lichen, a werewolf, a vampire, a succubus, an incubus, and, and new wineskins such as human, hu, uh, uh, human flesh, the individuals age violently. This all also happens according to sin as well. But when he's crying out from Genesis to Malachi that telling men do not mix with the strange woman, which is why I'm not allowed to have children here. All of these women are strange. They're done. All right. Most of them are working their ass off on severance in Illa somewhere. The ones here are they're shot up in the legs, man. OK, it's done. You know, um, they're really promoting and, and roundabout ways on the Internet right now. To make sure that you <laughs> rock a condom if you're going to deal with some some individual because it's really bad right now. OK, it's really bad out there. And they talk about STDs. They ain't talking about the spiritual shit I'm talking about. But it seems that when individuals start going in a situation where they completely let go of dealing with the opposite sex, this 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 before God would be a, a conclusion of death because nothing can come out of that individual. You you see what I'm saying? It's perpetual. And th these habits and behaviors and residents can also link down to your seed or your children. OK, this is what makes it different for you. This is seducing spirits. When you have this world and you have and you see these beautiful images or uh, 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 entities that have cloaking devices, so on and so forth. Hey, man, a Draco is a fourth dimensional entity uh, that exists on the same dimension as time. They do not age the same way man does. All right. The serpent did not get the serpent did not get cursed to die as man did. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, a serpent doesn't need a progenate, but they do. And they progenate on purpose to kill mankind. That's what it is. That's what they do. You know, they they have money and resources. Uh, serpents, uh, mantis, all these entities are working against mankind. Uh, what you may consider to be reapers. OK, from your perspective. All right. Not talking about the reapers from Hyperia. But I'm just the typical reapers that you have around Earth, these spirits around Earth. And they have a shit ton of kids. The Bible calls them weeds. All right. I ain't, pu I ain't pulling no fucking punches. Fuck all these niggas. You know what I'm saying? They have 50 million kids. OK. And these kids, they grow up like they grow up like weeds. You know, during Genesis six time, they they were eating all the food and everything else like that. And they started to turn to cannibalism. <laughs> That's why they got killed. They got killed on account of violence. And a lot of these entities are androdyne. All right. A lot of these, a lot of these uh, shorties and what have you out here, man, they are beautiful. They really are. But for the circumstance that we are in right now, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're going to have something real 
unless you're going to have something really real, man, for just passing around. These chicks, a lot of times, are trying to get pregnant just to get fat hips. It was like that when I was in high school. You had to watch these females. These females just want uh, 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 big tits and a fat ass, and they would get pregnant on purpose for that. Knowing that they would get rid of the baby, the whole nine like that. They just want they just want to be thick like that. They want they were trying to catch up evolutionary rise with the black woman. So white girls start getting thicker. You know, they try to keep up with uh, Hispanics and uh, 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 black blacks. Now, blacks, we were the last to turn the Hispanics, the Hispanics turn hella quick. OK, because, you know, a lot of them Hispanics go hand in hand with them. Uh, uh, supremacists and racists and shit like that. A lot of them Hispanics uh, are down with that, which I think is the most hilarious thing af uh, ever uh, to see a, a fucking uh, a racist Mexican. It's like, nigga, if you don't go grab me a, 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 some motherfucking, some shit out your fucking fruit bin so I could <laughs> pay this 35 cent going on about my day. This shit is crazy, man. I got to tell you, this shit is crazy, man. But yeah, a lot, uh, somehow, oddly, a lot of these Hispanics are on the side of these white supremacists and shit like that. Hey, man, that shit's crazy. All right. But these are all characteristics that the, 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 the government, the actions that happen on the street um, where people sell drugs and all sorts of shit like that. These are all <laughs> cutthroat things. Cutthroat things are the brutal side of nature. Things that happen or occur at night. Okay. So if you're doing these things, don't deceive yourself into thinking that you're one of you're one of God's uh, you're one of God's chosen. If you're if you're going down that line. Now me, I've been forsaken, I suppose, because I I was done. My I was done with my term at forty, and I gotta tell you, uh, God's been very scarce. I'm disappointed. All right. But I've been crucified more than one time. Christ only had one time. I've been crucified several times. Okay. I've been, to, I've, been, I've been illegitimately sent to hell before. The lake of fire is real. I can tell you that. Okay. You know. You could tell God I said it. He'd be like, damn, he's right. You know what I'm saying? He, he fucking, he existed before Hyperia, actually. <laughs> he will tell you himself. I was not allowed to be born um, of a man's loins. I came out of a test tube, okay? You know what I'm saying? So uh, the Bible is, 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 and Christianity is a religion regarded for um, the, first, the first estate of man, man born of another man's loins, uh, men that fail. That's what the Bible is for, okay? This is your religion. I'm trying to help you niggas, right? Everything I did, I, I did to help you niggas. All the accusations and hate I get. And see, I'm so far beyond you that everyone that accused me now look like a sucker. I remember my former lifetime, you know, even down to my own family accused me of being sick with something. Okay. And because I like, I'm old school 90s, I like to keep my garage door up, you know, and the, uh, the secret knowledge. I guess if you keep your garage door up now uh, in the 90s, it may correlate with some type of sex or something. I don't really fucking know how. These people think so fucking crazy, man. They drive like two miles per hour in a 25 zone all the way down the street. Okay? That's their process. Remember I talked about processing speed? Your brain slow down. Okay? They become the walking dead. You see how zombies walk slow? This is how, this is how they walk. <laughs> they take the dog out for the walk and the dog pulls them along and sniffs and goes where he wants. Now, I like to let dogs go where they want when, when, when I'm walking leisurely. But how they do it is as they got on these thick, dark glasses. They can't see, man. They can't see. The dog literally leads them all over the place, wherever the fuck the dog wants to go. I ain't all like that. Okay. And these are the same individuals that uh, run corporate offices and so on and so forth that try to boss me around in different places that I work like Walmart. Get the fuck out of here. These niggas are stupid. All right. These motherfuckers is neuroscientists, so on and so forth. Uh, can't none of them understand the Bible. All right. Their understanding of the Bible is a veneer uh, 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 and just as plastic as their personality. You know, uh, you think that because an individual is nice, that this individual is blessed and, and, and is safe. That is not true. That's just a veneer. That's baby fat. All right. This 
super toned way of talking in society. Well, do you know how people change the to different tones and they sound like a CW talk show? I can't take it, nigga. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? These are unmade individuals and they would presume themselves to be made based upon how they choose to speak. And they would judge the way that I speak because I keep it real and I'm too raw for the radio. I don't know why. It seems like society is getting faker and faker. You know what I'm saying? I look at society as a politically correct fart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's nothing I could do about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Except wait for the motherfucker to say, excuse me, if they choose to do it. Okay? But the sexual immorality problem is that if you have androdynes in society, individuals that occupy both sexes, right? And they're hiding between males and females to seduce individuals that are uh, uh, human beings that are male or, or female, right? And they have a different agenda outside of a natural relationship. Like, yo, I just like this individual. Society is fucked. Everybody got picked off. All the birds of prey picked them off, right? You know what I'm saying? And you think birds of prey are ugly, but you see that movie with uh, Margot Robbie on the front? You, you know what I'm saying? Marco Robbie, don't matter how crazy that chick is. She come up uh, uh, talking to you all bubbly. Uh, you gonna lose your mind, nigga. You, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course the baby gonna come out of there. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, but the fact of the matter is this. You know, uh, 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 all the partners that that individual had to get with in order to get job opportunities to get to you. You know what I'm saying? You have a spiritual warfare to deal with that fiber, fire because you can consider yourself to be bitten. You know, Pandora's box is open. Once you lay with that individual, then your affections start changing. That's that soul tie. And you know they're not gonna be looking to change it themselves. You understand what I'm saying? And here I am walking around the track, these, the neighbors and shit like that, they start walking out and shit, they're so weird. Um, but the fact of the matter is, that's what it is. Society is bitten. Now everything in society is geared towards alternative affections and for some type of uh, tolerance towards the rest of society. And the fact of the matter, my issue with that is, is that I came into this world as a black man. My shit is not a preference and I am obscured from um, getting work or even benefits from the government. You know, how can you expect me to vote? You understand? But yet in my vlog or my podcast, everybody ate from, ate from the things that I say, they take from it and, you know, they make, they make, they make from it. They make money, uh, they get subscribers, they get all sorts of things. You know what I'm saying? And then these same ones, in order to hide their steps, they're so petty that they would turn back and, and try to rend or cut me or accuse me. <laughs> Except for the fact that they don't know me at all. They don't even know what I look like. This is how insane the society is around you. So <clears throat> continuing on, think about this. Let's say you have an individual that's androdyne that occupies both sexes. Trust me, it's here, okay? Because there's a lot of society, as you go further out, they call individuals ray. Where a ray starts at the sun, right? At the day star. Now, after a ray leaves the sun, Right? Does a, does a ray ever return back to the sun of which it left? No, it does not. It goes further and further out. And the further out you get into the outer darkness, there are other entities. Okay? Right now, they're hitting me with a weapon to my foot. I love it. I hope I, I, hope I die right here and everybody dies with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll blow up and kill them also. I got this day star on me. Look, now they now it's subsiding. This is how cowardly these entities are. All right. So <laughs> a ray does not return back to the sun. OK. The further you get away from the sun, then you start getting fourth dimensional entities. Fourth dimensional entities have both sexes, both male and female sex organs. They can shape shift. They can do all sorts of shit like that. Right. And they're beautiful, man. A lot of them, you know. Uh, the human form that they take because they can pick out their human body how they want it uh, are beautiful, beautiful looking. 
You know, this is why the Bible says seducing. You understand what I'm saying? And these individuals have children with individuals. Now, if they're in the right frame in which they have, um, you know, they're honest in their heart and they really want to have a relationship with somebody, then that's fine. But generally, they're coming from deep state. They have an agenda. And most of the time, these females are just trying to escape a bad situation. And what happens is when you have females trying to escape a, a, a bad situation, uh, getting with the individual, then there's an agenda involved, involved usually. OK, there's an individual agenda. And then because they share a hive mind, there is an agenda within the hive and the mass portion of that agenda, even though that individual fell in love or whatever. <clears throat> right. This individual becomes soul tied, not to the individual they fall in love with, but the entire hive, okay, associated hive of that entity that they're in cahoots with. And you see, this is enough to pull an individual's affections and change their, 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 their leanings and their temptations uh, into something else. You understand what I'm saying? Not like all these weirdos coming out now in this uh town so i guess i'll start heading home uh but all of these individuals that come out they share a mind this is this is what i mean when i say it. they share a mind and they can hear me they all know i'm different they share a mind okay so it's like you know this is what tupac meant when he was talking about me against the world and all that and what they do is because they don't have a history they do a banshee a banshee is they try to body snatch someone right and take on the history of the individual that they snatched according to knowledge, right? So you're, you're pit up a game in society of whether you can tell whether an individual is real or not. This is where we get real or keep it real and all this other fucking bullshit, right? That's what it's over. It's the laundering of society, the killing of man, right? And in order for individuals to hide, for mankind to hide, or generally in society, in order to get that job or it, in order to survive, in order to make it, that mankind lies. And when mankind lies, it takes away his breath of life, okay? And when it takes away his breath of life so that he can have an easier life, then he is silenced. I mean, if you're saying things and the things you're saying doesn't matter or have any meaning, then what's the point of saying anything? So does this individual get soul, uh, uh, soul scout? Yes, indeed. And nobody knows the difference because they have been practicing being fake anyways. OK, these same individuals get into relationships where based upon either how they're created, their lifestyle or whatever. When we get into terms such as sexual immorality, the rules are going to be different for mankind when I have a mortality rate that is different than somebody who would be considered a fourth dimensional entity or, or, or a so-called God. Is it not? So these entities don't necessarily have to reproduce. They just do it to fit in and they do it a lot. OK. You know, they come from that school of having sex because these entities, you know, you have different spirits, millipede spirit, bird spirit, Draco spirit, you know, animals in the wild. You know what I'm saying? They have all kind of, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sexual uh things that they fucking do we, you know when you hear that prince song uh animal strike curious poses i feel the heat the heat between me and you you know squirrels rabbits everything they fuck all over the place man so that's what happened they multiplied this is the genesis 6 issue all right and when you have other entities that live according mm -hmm. to a nice style or according to the ways of this world OK, that's down with being cutthroat and uh, is down with just hooking up or shacking up with everybody all the time. Uh, 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 any season, every season uh, entities that's down with by any means necessary. When you get this mentality involved in this world, it's very easy for an individual to start justifying things that are evil based upon the blood of Christ, based upon forgiveness. Man, I wish I could take a picture of some of these niggas. This nigga just totally drove. Bro, you, that, that scene in Shaun the Dead 
where the guy's walking slow because he's a zombie and he's like, oh, they're, they're like that. Like when they drive, they'll like drive right up, like head onto a post and they'll just sit there and then they'll back up real slow. Like, dude, it's like a, somebody has a remote controller or something controlling them. Okay. It's odd as fuck. If you walk outside long enough, motherfuckers, motherfuckers will start coming up and pulling, pulling over to the side of the road near you or something like that because they think <laughs> these motherfuckers, it's like Mr. Pickles. If you ever seen that show on fucking, I don't know if it's like, uh, I don't know if it was Adult Swim, but uh, it came on MTV and it was just this little weirdo show. It's just like that out here in the suburbs. These niggas are so weird, bro. Um, but oh my gosh, dude, I see the hugest spider, dude. Um, but this is what they do around here. It is. And take for instance, I'm leaving the park now because people start to come over and park because they think that you're walking around, you need an opportunity to fuck. People leave their kids out and they give them to different parents and all sorts of shit uh, happen in the suburbs. But they're used to getting individuals that are trapped in a hard up situation and then they proposition them for sex they keep them as sex slaves some of these niggas keep niggas down in the basement and shit like that got all sorts of weird shit going on that's how these motherfuckers are man they're sick they're not not, not by a little bit but a lot you know when a female runs out of mileage she does witchcraft she has to she has to gather in uh more underlings all right to keep herself uh um what do you call it I don't know if the word is prevalent, but, you know, important in, in the spotlight, so to speak. You know, this is what happens. Let me change direction. I was going to walk this way. I already see some nigga doing some weird shit over there, so I'm going to walk this way. This is the suburbs, man. This shit, this shit typically don't happen in these type of neighborhoods. The world is dead, bro. Uh, I feel like this. Uh, you know, as far as faith goes, maybe someone can help me with it, but... If Christ died on the cross for this outcome, talking about his word does not come back void, bro, I'm sorry, bro. This this is unacceptable. You know what I'm saying? I got I got to talk to the franchise owner. <laughs> you know, I sit in my house all day. My mom thinks it's totally normal that I sit around all day or that I can't get laid. Uh, and that tells you about the uh, that tells you about the world. It don't matter if they respond, they answer or don't. I j- I read them just like that. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I would have been gaslighted to death. You know what I'm saying? My mom, you know, <laughs> God bless her. You know, I love her. I would like to get her out of here. Um, but this is going to be challenging because she, I, I think she believes that she's connected to her body. I know where her spirit is at. I know where her spirit is at right now. It's in Kylo. Okay. But half of it's in Kylo and half is here. But which isn't bad. I want to explain to you guys something real quick. Uh, Kylo or, or uh, Illa or Allah, um, that is not hell, you guys. That is that place. Well, it is. Yeah, okay. It kind of is, but it's not. All right. All right. Uh, Simone is might be potentially up there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she's up there a lot or, or not. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I got to tell you another thing. The common theme of the vehicle, let me walk back here in this park, man. It's the only way I can get away from people. Um, the common theme of vehicles that, that motherfuckers drive in this uh, city is Jeeps, man. Those Germans, man, they they drive those fucking, uh, uh, those boxy Jeeps. It's a nice car, man, but just know that that's Hydra. You know what I'm saying? Like 99.9% of the time, just generally, not at all of them. You know, 0.01% is not. And I mean, like, Nazi, Nazi, not like, you know what I'm saying? Just Nazi, Nazi, old school Nazi. OK, it's all over America. This car is most common. They're, they're ready for anything to flip sideways. These motherfuckers got all they stockpiling guns, all sorts of type of shit in their fucking house. These white people are so fucking crazy. It's unreal, dog. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this place <laughs> Hey, man, listen, this place is fucked up, y'all. Uh, let, let me tell you something. The problem with sexual immorality and the strange fire is this, man. Uh, generally, anybody that anybody's shackling up with, whether gay or straight, you're dealing with somebody that is uh, partially into alternative lifestyles. And I got to tell you, man, that 
you know what I'm saying? You may find yourself start to go get a little bit under the weather. You got to make, you know, you got to really take the time to get to know people. You know what I'm saying? And it's not so much that, but it's the subtlety in the fact that I don't live as long as a fourth dimensional entity. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, therefore, I need to progenate. You know what I'm saying? It's a necessity for me. For them, it's not a necessity. You understand what I'm saying? It's, a, it's not really a thing. Um, so <clears throat> that's what it is, man. And they're androdyne. So if they're androdyne, they could be either male or female. I don't know. What is that? Is that sexual immorality if a dude hooks up with an with a, with a androdyne chick? You know what I'm saying? Of course not. All right. So then that's where that shit starts getting hazy or subjective or a gray area. OK, that's for one. And nor can you account these individuals that are androdyne into uh, alternative lifestyles because they're not really hard coded into a, a specific body frame. Or mentality either. OK, you know me, uh, I'm a dude, man. Uh, I'm hardcore as a man, hardcore. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Other individuals could shape shift and turn to a female and do this or that or mix their natures up and do this whole trans thing and things of this nature. That's what they do. We cannot do that. You understand what I'm saying? Not necessarily. Now, if you're in Christ, I suppose you could do that because if you read Timothy, this is the other sexual immorality problem. If you read the book of Timothy, the book of Timothy say this. Uh, uh, there's neither Jew nor Gentile, gay nor straight, um, rich or poor, free nor bond, and Jesus Christ. So therefore, if that be the case, right, then what sexual immorality is there? And how many people did Christ ask, uh, uh, like, you know and I'm saying? Like, do you want me to die for you on the cross so I can save you? He didn't ask anybody. He did it for the world. So if he did it for the world, then the entire world must be saved, whether they believe in Christianity or not. Uh, Jesus Christ didn't write a book in the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? So the fact of the matter is, is everything that got messed up from the fall of man got returned with, with, with what Christ did on the cross. Now, you could choose to read that scripture if you want to. And I believe that a lot of individuals are uh, under mind control or different spirits are correlating with the Bible. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear uh, anybody except Muslims talk about jinn, but you will hear Muslims talk about Christian spirits, though. Everybody talk about Christian spirit, Hindu, whatever race they talk about Christian spirit. Seems like all the spirits are, are, are in the Bible somehow. OK. So <laughs> I got to tell you, man, um, I know all the angels, man. I know I know all the angels. I know the, I know the ones that fell and I know the ones who didn't. And the ones who allegedly fell, I got news for you. These angels did not fall, man. It was an agreement. We were playing the game and they chose uh, to do this because they were saying at first, like, how are we supposed to oppose the truth? That doesn't make any sense. Like, how the fuck are we supposed to oppose the truth? You know, and then Lucifer re reluctantly decided to do it. You know what I'm saying? For the game, not because that's how he is. Don't get the shit twisted. Right. But I'm not telling you that it's a game for you. This is not a game for you. This is to see how you truly are. And if you uh, are deceived into acting a certain type of way, or deceived into lying, so on and so forth, then guess, then guess what happens? You will be penalized. You will go to hell. Okay? You will have, and I, I, I got to tell you, there are some places in, in this pyramid, there are some uh, dungeons that are really bad, man. Like, really bad. And I mean, there are some, the ones that I hate, they are really, they got some really weird ones. Just some weird, really, it's just so weird and bizarre, it would just trip you out. Almost like that damn, if you ever seen the Pickle Surprise uh, video, uh, how that whole shit is. And I don't, don't look that up, because that shit is so fucking crazy and weird. But um, this chick showed it to me, and, and dude, it is out there. But they got some dungeons in this motherfucker, like, if you get in trouble. So, um... I am <clears throat> suggesting that you guys um, hang in there and hang with and, and hang with the fight. But I guess my situation uh, concluded at, at the time that I was 40 and I have been left with a bunch of assaults from different spirits. Uh, I'm not going to sit up here and say that it's um, from anything particular, uh, uh, particular else. 
The reason why these proxies can't deal with these, deal with me, such as police and things of this nature, because the spirit that jumps in them is the same one that's been that's been harassing me. It's a it's a it's a disembodied spirit. All right. And there's more than one. And they can jump into whatever vessel that they want, because all these people are defiled. Their, their judgment has already came. All right. The judgment for these individuals has, has already came uh, 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 more than a year ago. They're already in Illa. You know, the apocalypse and all that shit happened. It happened right under your nose. The reason you didn't see is maybe you weren't, didn't have the spiritual understanding. You know, you're looking for physical things to happen, a physical hole to open up the, in the earth and all of these other things. You wouldn't recognize it through CERN and other type of things like this. And, and, and just be grateful that you're here, man. But as far as God goes, I stopped praying. I mean, it seemed like he ignored me. So I'm like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit. You know, I still have to do spiritual warfare. I shouldn't have to do spiritual warfare any, anymore. And this is the time of the beast. And during the time of the beast where they fly X's in the sky and shit like that, that means the walking dead. They did the same thing in the walking dead, man. Okay. These individuals look alive. Just like that podcast, podcast seven I put out. Hey, man, they look alive, but they are not. Their mind and everything like that, they're not with it. And when their mind is not with it, they fall back into base, rudimentary functions, building blocks of, of who they are as a character. So if they're a white person and they uh, establish themselves with a chapter and that chapter is racist, then they're going to have a, a, a racist mentality, even if it's not shown. They, you, you will do a better job of understanding which chapter they belong to and how individuals in that chapter operate to understand the substance behind the cover ego that that individual is using. You understand what I'm saying? That's how it is. But I mean, according to New Testament, if, a, if an individual is in Christ or whatever, I suppose it doesn't matter, you know, which way they swing or, or, or what they do. Or maybe if they're even swingers, it almost suggests as they will all be the same individual. So the fact of the matter is this, man. Um, listen. Um, the sexual immorality problem is just more of a situation that I would say um, it, it's subjective in the sense that you need to understand what you want in life, man. And when you understand what you want in life and things of this nature, uh, like I said, when it came down to this thing, uh, not only do you have to worry about, you know, what I'm saying some young lady that you hook up with. I have to understand where that young lady's mind at and who she may have potentially hooked up with before that. And know that I know that more than likely this embarrassing topic, this individual more than likely is not going to tell me the truth. I'm going to have to be able to read that individual. OK, because of the strange fire, the Bible says you shouldn't even offer somebody a glass of water. OK, if you're upset or angry with them, because what happens is that transfers. OK, that spirit of anger transfers. So when you think about something as intimate as. Uh, sexual intercourse or so on and so forth, these spirits transfer, okay? And this, this, I'm not saying it was sexual immorality, I don't know what it was, but it weighed down Solomon, one of the wisest men, the, the wisest man who, who had ever lived. You know what I'm saying? God's spirit or not, this shit can weigh you down, man. And in the end, it's just not worth it for a quick little fix. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Most of these niggas be out here fronting like they really put it on or whatever. You, they, you know what I'm saying? They got about 15 minutes in them. You see what I'm saying? As, as, as long as I've been without it or whatever, <laughs> Lord have mercy at my age, I may have three good minutes in me. For fuck's sake. Even though I talk all this shit. I'm just built like that. That's how a man is built. We, we talk all that shit. But I know I probably only got three minutes in me. Okay. Niggas go out there and go on and, and, and get caught up in a web and pay for a whole hour, jeopardize their life, get caught up and, 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 and get their reputation called up, uh, uh, law, lawyer type shit, or even uh, possibly potentially uh, risk getting arrested. And these individuals now uh, are, 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 such, are so debased and defiled in the earth that they're driving around literally all day up and down. They're wearing a hole in this road, this suburb that I'm in. Uh, looking to to to, to 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 deal with children, man. These motherfuckers deal with children, all sorts of shit, man. You know, I stay inside most of the time because I know good and well, man. Uh, I catch one nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's it, it's gonna be what it is, bro. I'm just putting that out there because I know a lot of niggas watch these podcasts. It's gonna be what it is, nigga. I'm done when I'm done. You get what you get. 
All right. I, I'm just being fair. And, and, and because the police or nobody uh, wanted to do nothing about it in this motherfucking neighborhood. If my eyes are raped in such way, you know what I'm saying? That is a dead motherfucker. You understand? Because I, 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 I'm not going to go through any psychological break seeing this fucking madness in this earth that nobody's doing nothing about. But the cops will visit my house just because my garage door is up. You understand what I'm saying? While I'm not eligible to get a job or anything else like that. The audacity of this country and to call itself God's country, it's, it's incredible. Okay? It is incredible. Not only do that, they send a, they send a female cop. Man, I'm sitting up there. I'm like, dude, you can't be coming to my house at 2 o'clock in the morning. Gun or no gun. You know, I'm still a man at the end of the day. What are you doing? Built like a barmaid, man. And they and, and hair broided, and got some of that red hair and just built like a barmaid. I said, I, no, they did not send a, a damn uh, police officer out here looking like this at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm about to go do my pull-ups and shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, yo, man. My life is fucked up, man. <laughs> you, understand? you understand what I'm saying? You know. Hey, hey, listen. I'm not an asshole. I like these. I like these little. Uh, they they got some ones that are, I guess they uh kind of like a millipede or something. And they got some um, the, you know, they got some bird ones. They got like a. Uh, 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 bird entities. I don't mean to be preferred, but man, God, I gotta tell you, man. When I talk about this shit, man, they, I guess they could take human form or something. But they be looking crazy, bro. They be looking, they be looking like some fucking uh, uh, models and shit like that. Hey, man, listen, you gotta be careful out in this motherfucker. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> They've been beating me to death, man. It's redhead girls uh, everywhere, all over TV now. They ain't commercials. They all over the fucking place. Wasn't none of that shit there before. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing people with vi vitiligo. After I mentioned I, I like uh, uh, chicks with vitiligo, now vitiligo's uh, coming up here and there everywhere. Uh, ain't that a bitch? Hey, life is evil as fuck, ain't it? <laughs> How we do a nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> A billion people blame me. I covered a whole bunch of people accidentally. Uh, nigga can't get no love or nothing, man. I'm like, fuck this place. I'm <laughs> I don't know what I got a day star for. I, you know, I shouldn't even have to be here, man. My door, I should have gotten my door by now. But that's a sexual immorality problem. You, not only can you deal with that, because when you, when you hook up with a nice young lady and she be dealing with them weird ass dudes, then that weird ass claiming hand energy is gonna get it's gonna get on you. And it sounds like some racist ass shit, borderline how I'm saying it, don't. But the fact of the matter is it's true. That's biblical. You can look at your own damn Bible. Uh that, you know what I'm saying? That that strange fire, it, it will get to you. You know what I'm saying? It will come on to you, man. And be if you are black, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. When it comes to these different types of things in society, you are always going to be targeted because the Bible calls you a first fruit. So what's the rest of society knows who you are and your heritage. They're going to use you, okay, as a backdrop or as a main figurehead to push or promote their agenda, which is not yours or for your own benefit. And now when you look up in February and fucking June, it's LGBTQ P uh, month. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> it ain't. You know, it ain't, it, you know, it ain't no Juneteenth or, or for black people or, or in February. And with this Mandela effect and everything like this and, and the change of the history, they trying to erase you out of history, nigga. You niggas better wake up, man. Stop acting like some goddamn cunts. Peace and blessings be with you all. I'm out.